Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Waldron. In this video we're going to be having a really cool inbox review. We have got, and it is really hard to get it on camera because the box is so massive, we've got the Hadley Page Victor B Mark II BS. Um, absolutely huge kit, it's by Airfix, it's one seventy second scale, but because it's a bomber it is absolutely massive. So I'm just going to have to put this down here out the way and try and sort of get into it all right so to give you a bit of scale on this let's get out um, the first fuselage section as you can see this is the fuselage so you know this is how sort of long it's going to be but i do believe the wingspan is even more uh, but let's get started with this um, surface detail jumping straight in there we've got um, airfixes sort of typical recess panel line detail we have got a few little rivets here and there um, the, re uh, the recesses are consistent around those 90 degree angles which some kits sometimes suffer from that um, but yeah you know we've got some nice detail we've got some nice detail at the front Hopefully you can just see there. Pretty good um, surface detail along there. On the inside, I mean, it's showing a little bit of rib work. Um, not sure how much you're going to really need to see that. A few eject pin marks. They might be visible or not, depending on your the bomb bay configuration and stuff. We've got like a little bit of um, potential internal detail just here. Some hoses and stuff. So you know the details going to be nicely there then we've got the second half of the fuselage section again same level of detail going all the way along this massive thing then we've got um, the cockpit detail the floors right because there's quite a few seats in here then we have instrument display panels which is um, chock full of buttons and dials and all sorts of goodies in there to really sort of um, make that look cool we've got some sort of walls and bulkheads and stuff again all sorts of bits of um, detail also along there um, then let's try this box is absolutely massive um, so I'm just trying to find somewhere to put absolutely everything we've got another massive sprue here this is like the bottom part a uh, bit of the fuselage but then goes on to our wing just here again lovely recessed panel lines recessed rivets all sorts of nice little panels very crisp very clear and we've got that on the opposite side as well uh, then we've got some more wing detail here as well as you can see you know it's got quite a fair bit of detail on this kit um, quite impressed actually for airfix really good nice detail will take a wash very very well um, moving along we've got another big screw just in this bag here and what looks to be like the bomb bay area so we've got um, i do believe these are like the um, the tips of the wings maybe to show you on the top cam these are going to be like the tips of the wings so the wings are going to be like a you know two halves of a wing make up a hole so it's um you know sometimes there's fit issues in there um again surface detail looking absolutely stunning as it is throughout the kit uh, then we've potentially got some um i'm not sure what bits these are going to be for maybe fuel tanks or something no, probably not a fuel tank but um some detail areas on the kit but you know we've got all sorts of recess panel lines and stuff right more detail going on here as well 
um, no real problems with ejector pin marks um, we've got what looks like to be what's going to be a load detail here for um, uh, probably the Bombay area as you can see chop pack full of detail um, along there and stuff and these are probably be the Bombay doors as well with a bit of detail um, there is some ejector pin marks just along here but I've got a feeling there's probably going to be a plate put on there but if not I mean it's not going to be that hard to be able to get to these ejector pin marks and sort of sort them out either way um, then we have um, basically another bag here and this bag is just full of all sorts of little screws which is probably going to be all bits of detail and stuff now this is a big kit and I don't want to go on for ages with this kit so I'm going to try and sort of blast through a bit uh, we do have our big uh, missile here I do believe this is like the nuke I forgot what it was called but um, we'll check the instructions in a bit then we've got the adapted belly for this big big um, weapon just here um, and then we've got sort of bits of detail along there Check the pin marks not really a problem um, we've got a sprue here which is like full of all sorts of different wheels which has got you know as you can see some pretty good detail all along there all sorts of like ladders and all sorts of little bits and bobs here and there not really seeing any nasty flash that's sort of gonna um, be a problem I mean of course there's always a bit on every kit but it's not like massive all right moving along to our next sprue which uh, we've got stuff like ejector seats on here which for one seventy second scale I mean we've got seat belts harnesses we can see the cushions all right we've got the ejector seat here which has got all sorts of lovely detail coming off of that a bit more sort of internal cockpit detail as well a couple of buttons all sorts of goodies like that um, we've got another ejector seat just over here right because there is quite a few seats in this one right um, as for eject pin marks they don't seem to be any sort of a major issue but as you can see there's just tons and tons of little bits and bobs that's going to be going all in and all around this which makes it which is going to make this quite a centerpiece kit because it is going to be pretty pretty massive um, the price of this kit is around about the uh, six pound mark rp um, i do think i got it a bit cheaper than that um, but yeah you yeah, know not a bad price for what is a massive big kit and it was brand new tooled as well in 2016 so um, nice new tool of a big massive bomber lovely internal detail going on just here um, we've got all sorts of um, what we've got like landing gear bits lovely detail on these as you can see no major flash uh, any eject pin marks are going to be covered up absolutely looking absolutely gorgeous kit absolutely loving it I'd love to build this um, but the time uh, you're going to need to put a bit more love and time into a kit like this uh, because of the size and the amount of detail you can sort of whack in there um, but yeah we've got more sort of engine details going on as you can see air intakes and all sorts of goodies like that opposite side nothing major to report there then we have our clear parts all right so let's just whack this open pull this out and we have the front part of the canopy is looking crystal clear not a blemish on it at all absolutely gorgeous top notch um, and any other bits as well yeah absolutely gorgeous really nice top notch um, canopy there which is rather good and good to see from airfix because they can mess up a few times with canopies uh, then we've got some stencil layouts so this is going to be um, where we have all the uh, positions of stencil data nice clear plain and nicely laid out then we have markings which we have um, I do believe this is the all um, white version and then we have that absolutely lovely um, two color camo version with the white um, on the underside 
really do like this version and um, to be fair then we have um, the decals decals are by cartograph which you know are pretty damn good decals we shouldn't have any problems um, they are um, looking good we're looking good and you know they're looking good colors nicely in registry no real issues or problems I mean I've got a bit of a crease actually on this one but that doesn't look to be a major issue um, if we look a little bit closer we do have um, dials and all kind of cool stuff for the instrument display panels um, which is looking looking rather nice we've got um, the different style of roundels um, which I do believe is for the the white version where it's sort of it's almost like misted out slightly compared to you know the full color roundels and you know we've got all sorts of detail all the way on here with writing and all sorts of goodies um, you know cannot complain with these decals um, it's 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 cartograph you know we ain't gonna have no problem then we come to the instructions the instructions are pretty sort of big you know this is where it's going to be a bit of a special kit but still um, nice usual airfix um, instructions nice kind of information about the aircraft itself we do have color um, we start off with the cockpit section which you know we've got all these different seeds ejector seeds loads and loads of sort of detail in this cockpit area but um, looking at the actual canopy I mean it's not that massive so we're not going to be seeing massively in here so don't worry about going too over town um, with the cockpit detail um, after the cockpit detail uh, we do start kind of putting in uh, getting um, a few little bits here and now I do believe this is probably like the tail section um, we've got the bottom um, wheel well just there and you know it's basically going straight into doing all your landing gear first um, then I mean this is, this is this is where this could be quite a complicated kit I mean we've got all this kind of rib work um, then we've got this kind of frame stuff because um, you know how we've got I'll probably best show you actually with this kit you've got um, this is like the first part of the wing and then we're going to sort of build a wing and um, the other half of the wing going on to that so it needs like strength and structure and that's what these big pieces are for here um, so we can bring together we've got the air intakes um, they're probably going to be quite visible because they do look quite big so you're probably going to want to maybe get seam lines and sorted with that um, and then there is there is just so much little bits here and there so you really want to sort of study the instructions really sort of take your time um, because there is probably so much that could could go wrong looking at these and then as you can see you know the those um, bits of structure there that brings the wings together um, they're coming together we've got our engine section um, then we've got some Bombay doors uh, well the Bombay um, we've got some more sort of what's this area here actually is this Oh, this is the air brakes. Um, you can have the air brakes open or close at the rear, which actually looks like a lot of nice details there. So that's a, a nice option you can throw in there if you want to throw some more detail in. Um, then we bring the cockpit in. So yeah, there is a lot going on before you actually bring the fuselage halves together and then you bring the actual wing area down onto the fuselage. Um, do remember, it is saying a 25 um, gram weight in the front so this is a potential tail sitter if you don't get that weight whacked in the front as well so yeah plenty I think potential for things to go wrong um, with this it is big there's a lot of detail going in and on it is a bit of a complicated um, way the kit comes together so definitely a lot of techie time um, test fit test fit getting everything to come together nicely don't just whack this kit together because I can I could see you having some potential problems um, then we have um, all sorts of like your ailerons and everything bringing the bottom part of the wing section 
um, coming together as well. You know, again, potential fit issues. Um, and then you've got all the, the little bits that go all on and over this thing, which is all sorts of um, landing gear. Um, even the, the actual instrument display panels coming together finally. Um, moving along, and we've got, um, then we've got this alternate sort of bomb bay, I think it is we can have this different type of belly here which has um, our big I think it's a nuke that's in this one I will have to check um, moving along more sort of bits and then yeah we do have our big bomb that goes on here or you could possibly have it not on a, I do believe there is a, an option for that but I didn't really see it we'll have to probably study the instructions a little bit more uh, but yeah it is looking basically like a bit of a a complicated kit you want to be intermediate or, or above to be building this but what a kit it is um, I'm loving it it's big um, I mean the price for what it is I think is really good it's a brand new tool loads and loads of detail loads you can sort of do with it loads of sort of nice little options and whatnot um, and although it seems a bit complicated it might not be as bad as you think because it is a brand new tool and airfix have them um, really come along um, this past decade so yeah big thumbs up for airfixes um, a victor b mark ii bomber so um, until next time my name is bob waldron this is james models and i hope you've enjoyed